Hey everybody, it's Molly from Throne of Grace, and I'm here today with my daughter Lucy. Hi. And we, like many of you, are sheltering in place at home amid the coronavirus pandemic going around the world. Um, and there's definitely been hardships, but one of the blessings has been more time to play games yes. and to pull things out of our, our game closet. Um, actually, multiple game closets <laughs> around here. Because yes. um, we love games, we love board games, card games, all kind of games, party games. Um, so we thought it'd be fun to share with you all some of our favorites and just kind of give you um, a little review of it, explain how the game works, and some um, tips and tricks. Some tips and tricks. Exactly. We've added some of our own rules and yeah. strategies to some of the games we'll share with you. And we would love to hear from you um, what are some fun games you guys play. Um, that'd be fun to kind of yeah. give it some new ideas. So we're going to start today with um, one of our favorites. This is probably one of the first games we played as a family. Mm-hmm. What's it called, Lucy? This is called Sleeping Queens. This is actually the deluxe version, but there is... I need to... And I'll just say, this is by a company called Game Right. They are amazing. Yes, we have we love their games. tons of their games. I'd say 20 to 30 probably we own. Yeah. Um, they make a lot of different games, and it's kind of, it seems like a family company, um, so it's fun to support them, and yeah. they're super creative people. So this one's Sleeping Queens. Yeah, look for that logo. You can yeah, Game, game Right. right. <laughs> uh, but they also have it in just regular, undeluxe, I guess if that's a word, version. Um, the regular one is $10. The deluxe one is about $15. Um, they celebrated their 10th anniversary, so they came out with this version. Um, honestly, we like the deluxe version better, just because it has a few extra things. Yeah, extra things. But, but um, the we have both. The regular one totally is like the same thing, just yeah. slightly not as great, but it's still amazing. We'll show you the differences. Um, and honestly, the reason why we got the deluxe version was only because we played the regular one so much. It was really getting... Um, dogged and um, yes. sorry, we were tired. So we retired it to my homework club bag, which is uh, an after school class I teach with kids. So they love it there. Um, we don't care if it gets, you know, loses a card or two. So we bought ourselves the new version. So let's take a look at what comes inside the tin. Okay, so here's what comes inside the tin for the deluxe version. Um, simple. We also love how most of the Game Right games are super small and compact and take up a lot of space. But So, of course, you have your directions to play. Um, there's two different sets of cards, um, which we'll explain those in a minute. The, the purple cards and then these kind of teal colored cards. This is fun. It just gives you the background. Like I said, it's a family game. It shows the family and how they came up with the idea for this particular game. And then it includes these fun little stickers. So that's kind of neat. But this is only in the deluxe version. Yes. So yes, the new things you get with the deluxe is the stickers, the tin, instead of just a cardboard box. And then it, we'll show you there's, there's a some, few additional cards that are added to the deluxe this game. This is in both though. If you're yes. Wondering about that. So that's what we get inside. Let's talk about the game. Okay. So here's how Sleeping Queens works. Um, you're going to shuffle the purple cards, so Lucy will hold those up for us, and these are kind of like the, the gameplay cards, and then um, as well, shuffle, shuffle the teal cards. These are the queens, the sleeping queens. So these are going to get laid out face down as your game board, and after you shuffle them, and the object of the game is to try and collect as many queens as you can, and each queen has different point values. So you can see some of the queens here. They're really cute. The artwork's fun on this. Yes. There's a cake queen. She's only five points. That's the least amount. Um, there's 10 point queens like the sunflower queen. Let's see what else we've got. The 15 dog point queen. queens, dog queen. And the way outfit. you um, collect these is with kings. And there's all different types of fun kings too. Yes. We'll um, go over those in just a minute. And then the most valuable queen is the heart queen. She's worth 20 points. So as you collect these queens, um, you're trying to get a certain amount of points or a certain amount of queens. And that depends on how many players are playing. So a two to three player game, which we'll be doing today, you need to get five queens or 50 points. And then as you add more players, um, you need less queens and less points to win the game. Okay, so we will shuffle these and we're gonna lay them out and then we'll show you what our game board looks like. Before we do that, actually, let's go ahead and talk about a few of the the playing cards. Yeah. You see? So, um, let's so, um, this is just, there's some like numbers in here. Here's some more actually. And you get five cards to start with. And these are just cards that you can play down to draw another card. So if I have two sixes, which I have right here, I can play both of them down at the same time. So each turn you play a card down and then you, it might cause an action of some sort, and then you draw a card to reload. 
Um, so yes, if you have two number cards that are the same, you've got like a set of cards, you can play them both down at the same time and draw two new cards, just kind of re-loading re, um, your deck. Yeah. There's something special actually, if you have a four, a two, which makes six, right? And you have a six, so you can play all three down. And that can be for any three numbers that make up an addition. Yeah. Um, or sentence. if you just have like four of the same card, which can happen, I guess. Um, That'd be weird, you can put that all down too. So okay. this is the um, number card. This is the knight. So let's say you have a queen down, and the other person can steal that person's queen with this knight. So did we show, let's go back a little bit, back talk a little bit, sorry, to the king. She mentioned those. So like the queens, they have all different funny names and cute little illustrations. So when you play a king card, that gives you the ability to wake up a queen, to pick up a queen card off the playing table. You choose one, they're face down, so you don't know which one you're picking and how many points it's going to be. Um, so once you have a queen, then, as you were saying, Lucy, then someone can steal your queen. Mm -hmm. So you can steal someone else's queen with, with the, the knight. knight. There's also but, there's actions and then there's reaction cards. So the if, reaction to that let's is... Let's say she tries to steal my queen, but I have a dragon. That plays down and that kind of cancels out. So I can dragon. immediately stop her trying to steal my queen by playing down a, down but a dragon card. if she has a dragon, she can put that down too and that kind of ends it and she keeps it. And I don't lose my queen. Right. Yeah. So that's one action and a reaction. Another action is, is putting it to sleep. Sleeping potion. And what you do with that is you play it down on somebody else's queen and you put it back to sleep face down. You take it away. You don't get to keep it, but you get to put it back into the playing so field here. Part of it's like a memory game because if you remember what queen they put down. Especially if it was a really valuable one you're taking. But if you have a wong, which is another reaction card, I guess. Um, you can wake up the queen. Wake it back up immediately. So if Lucy tries yeah. to put my queen to sleep, I can play my wand and say, uh-uh-uh. Unless I'm waking I back play up. another one of these, which very rarely happens. But again, it can happen. Okay, and let's save the joker. Should we, this is the last one we haven't talked about yet. It's, it's a little just, more complex. We yeah, have to there's only a few cards. One of the things we like about this and why we started it so young, the kids are probably three or four. Lucy probably yeah, started probably. playing with us. Colin was probably five or six. Um, so it's, it's simple. There's not a whole lot of cards to know, um, but yet it's still, we still enjoy playing it even at their ages. Lucy's now 12 and Colin is 14. So it's carried us through for a long time. Okay. So we'll mention the Joker card in a minute. Lucy's going to shuffle up these purple cards. Yep. So those include the Kings and those action cards we showed. I'm going to set the game board up and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So here's our game board set up. So we have all the Queens face down after we shuffle them. Lucy is dealing out our cards. Yep. How many do we get each person? So we each get five cards. Um, you can have, it says you can have up to, I think, five players, but you can probably do like six, seven, maybe. Um, you can yeah. do probably more than that. You don't really have to. And technically, you could shuffle two decks together and play with more as yeah, well. Yeah, you could if you... I okay, so you here's our, our game board. We've dealt out five cards each, and we'll go ahead and show you how it plays. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention is, I mean, this is a little silly thing, but for the kids, especially when they were younger, one of the fun things was getting to set up the game board however they wanted. So yes. we did it this way, but sometimes we'd put them okay. all in a circle like or, this, or they just whatever. liked that. thought it was fun to set up different ways each time, whoever was the dealer. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the game. Okay, we are all set up and ready to play. Lucy dealt, so that means I'm going to go first. Yes. So with a two-player game, it's just the other person goes first. With multiple players, more than two left. Uh, persons who left the dealer, which that would be me as well. Yes, <laughs> so you go either way. Okay, so I'm going to take my first turn, and um, we can't play. She doesn't have any queens for me to steal, so I can't play a no. knight. I can't play a sleeping potion. So no, I'm just going to start no, off. No. I happen to have a king, so I'm going to play the pasta king. So I put Ooh. pasta king down in the discard pile, and I get to pick a queen from the table. So I'm going to randomly choose one, and I got the Peacock Queen. Ooh, so she's worth 10 points. points, so I'm going to lay her face up in front of me. And then now I only have four cards. You always want to end your turn with five, so I draw a new card to replace the one I gave up. All right, Lucy's turn. All right, I'm going to play the Jester, which we have not talked about yet. Jester or Joker? We sometimes call it Joker, we but call it definitely Joker, it's a Jester. We looked, it is Jester. Okay. So yes, that's the one card we haven't talked about yet. So this one's special because it's kind of like two different paths your turn may take depending on what card you draw. So she places it in the discard pile. So you draw a card on the top of the deck. And this is like kind of the regular way that most likely would happen, I guess you could call it. So I got a number two. She got a number card. 
Yes, so if it's a number card, she has to show it to the rest of the players on the table, which she's doing. Table. Any other card you get to hold to yourself, not show. So it's a two. So, so what happens then? You count from the left of your person. It, obviously, there's only one person here, but when you have a, people, you go around the table or wherever you're sitting. Um, so you count one. You count off the number on your card. Yes, and you count one, one and two lands on me. And the person that lands on gets to draw a queen. So um, then you can draw a queen. The second way, which would happen, is if I got to draw something. That we'll just show here. So if she didn't draw a number card, if she had drawn one of the action cards or the power cards, I think they Let's call them. Let's say I drew uh, a um, potion. Sleeping potion? Yes. I would keep it and then take another turn. So she doesn't have to show that card, but you just get an extra turn. So when you play the Joker, you're either going to get an extra turn or it'll be a number card and then somebody at the table will be rewarded with waking up a queen. It might be yourself or you might be rewarding someone else. So let me take my queen now. But I got that. Okay, that's right. Landed on two. So Lucy and gets to wake up. And I got the rainbow queen, which is five points. Five points. Okay, she puts that face up in front of her. And now how many cards do you have, Lucy? I have four. She's got a redraw. So I'm going to redraw. Okay, so I'm going to take another turn, mm -hmm. and let's see, this time, now I'm going to play just a number card, so I just put that down and just trade for a new card. That's not super exciting, um, but that's what you do. Yes. I'm going to play the Bubblegum King. Okay, so he's a special king, we according to the Garibaldi family. This yes. is not in the rules, this is a secret tip insider trick. Yes. So basically, this dude can wake up two queens. So we thought it'd be fun to give some of the kings special powers. So his powers, he gets to wake up two queens. Yes. So whoever plays that gets two queen cards on their turn. Go so ahead, I'm going to draw this one, Pancake Queen, which is 15 points. Okay, so now she's got a total of 20. A lot. And oh, I oh, can't get it. Oh, the Cake Queen, which is five points. Okay, so what do you got so, so far? So I have, um, to add this all together, 25 points. 25 points, okay, to and my turn. I'm gonna draw a card. And her turn. All right, so I am going to play the power card of the oh. sleeping potion. So I'm gonna lay that down, and now I get to choose one of her queens. I'm gonna choose oh. the pancake queen worth 15 points. I don't get to keep it, but it goes back to sleep. So you can watch and see where I place it. Lucy will be watching if she wants to wake that one back up. And then my turn ends, I but draw I do not have a wand, unfortunately, so. If she'd had a wand, she could have interrupted my turn right there, even though it's not her turn, mm -hmm. and played down the wand. Um, she would get her queen back, and then whose ever turn is reloads first. So I would take my new card, and then she would yes. take a new card to replace her Unless wand. Unless she played another sleeping potion, like I said before. Same with the knight. If you play another dragon, you, the other person, still has okay. to do that. All right, so um, now it's turn. your turn. Um, I happen to have two pancake, which is nine cards, so I'll play both of those down. So remember, if there's two of the same number, you can play them both at the same time yes. and draw two new cards. I'll draw two more. Okay, we'll just show a couple more, and then you guys are getting the gist of the game, hopefully. I'm going to show the Puzzle King, because he is another one that we made a special rule for. So that's the Puzzle King. And the way the Puzzle King works, again, this is a Garibaldi added secret not you will not find this in the rule book is that when the puzzle king wakes up a queen i'm going to choose this one here um you can choose if you want to trade your queen for someone else's that's on the table any other players you can they don't have a choice about it you just say i'm trading it so she's only worth five points i'm going to definitely trade her oh, oh no you only have five point queens oh. i was thinking the pancake queen well you never mind it looks a little nicer <laughs> i i could if i want to i'll just keep it but that is a, a power of the puzzle king that's kind of fun. if i had like a 15 or 10 point then she probably would want to do that more. right so i could get more points okay i reload all right, anything else we should show um, them? Should well, we... I'll just do the, I have a knight on me. So okay. I'll play a knight. She's so going to play a knight. And I'm going to steal your 10, please. Uh, 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 you are not because I have a dragon. So mm. I'm going to play it down right now and steal my peacock queen back. Safe at sound home. She and reloads I'm and gonna... then I reload. One thing, we haven't done this yet, but there is one special queen called the Strawberry Queen. She's only in the Deluxe Edition. Um, and she is worth 10 points, but when that person gets it, nobody can steal it. She's Not dragon, like frozen. can't put to sleep, nothing. Yeah. You can't take and it. And that one is in the rules, right? Yes, that okay. is in the rules. Do we have any other rules? It has a little it? yellow thing around the number so you can tell. 
Right. Um, I know oh, the this is not a Garibaldi robe, but it is in the rules as well. The Heart Queen, um, she, no, the Rose Queen. I'm sorry. Mm. Rose, the Heart Queen is the one that's worth 20 points. That's the most. But the Rose Queen, I think it's only worth five points. She's not very much. Mm, but yeah. she wakes up a friend. So if you wake up the heart, the Rose Queen, Flowers you get to choose another card. And again, that one is in the rules. So you can see that in there. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the basic idea of the game. Um, and then the way the game ends is, like we said, the first person to get to 50 points or five queens that they've woken up. Um, you could even just have five five-point queens and still win the game. So yep. five queens or 50 points, and the game ends right there. Yep, okay. and you can play again if you feel like it, or you um, can choose another game, preferably from Game Right. <laughs> wow, we have lots of good games, but that is a good company. We're not getting sponsored by them. <laughs> no. All right. We hope you enjoyed playing Sleeping Queens with us today. And um, we would love to have you leave some comments about your favorite games. Like I said, we always are looking for new games to check out. And as far as I know, Amazon is still delivering as of today. So um, that's where we get a lot of our games. And so we'd love to be able to order some new ones. Have fun playing and we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully we'll be back with some more games soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Be sure to follow us on Instagram or Facebook and visit us on our website at throneofgrace.com to contact us through email or link directly to the Throne of Grace shop.